As I said, the Mark 8 currently resides here in the Bugbook Computer Museum in Floyd, Virginia, but we're planning to loan this to the March Museum, the Mid-Atlantic Retro Computing Hobbyist Group in Wall, New Jersey. It was founded by Evan Koblenz, and he's also the president of the group. It's a very active group of computer uh, buffs and computer hobbyists. They're located in the Info Age Science Center at the Omar Coney Building in Wall, uh, New Jersey. I was running. Okay, looking at the back of this Mark 8, we're coming in from the back side. Down at the lower part, the power supply is all built into here. All the power transformers and and uh, filters and regulators and so forth. Now, the cards themselves, notice that they're just setting in a little wooden rack. There's some slots in here. So it's rather crude uh, in the way it's built, but there were no directions giving, and I thought this, this is actually a wonderful design considering the uh, some of the first uh, microcomputers built. Looking at the cards, you see the back of the card here, and uh, these are the six cards that John built using the um, 8008. And we'll just look in here a little bit and uh, look at the various cards and look at the back of the front panel. Here's the eight LEDs, eight LEDs for the data, and over here you see the 16 for the uh, memory, and then you see the switches back here. So this is just a little look back at the front panel. And coming over here to the side and looking in, you can see the data bus is just these jumper wires down here at the bottom, jumpering each board together. So the data bus is a simple wire to wire to wire. There's no actual data bus other than the wiring of those wires together. But it worked and it worked quite well. So this is the internal operation here of the Mark 8. And uh, George, the fellow that built this computer, did a beautiful job because the instructions were pretty minimal on how to actually de design. There was no design for the case or anything. So we consider this a really, really wonderful uh, construction job built in 1975.